Hello, it's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you. Just wanted to take you through the step-by-step -step on how to join our team during celebration and just explain some of the specials that are happening right now and why it's so fantastic to think about joining. So you may have been given a link through one of our newsletters, but if you haven't and you're just seeing this on YouTube, I do have the links below. Uh, and also you can always head over to our blog, kyliebatucci.com and click on this join our team button here. It will open up this page, which looks super intimidating and scary. <laughs> Most people look at this page and go, wow, I'm gonna run away. <laughs> but don't run away, let me walk you through it. This first section here is just acknowledging that you are the one signing up for the Stampin' Up! starter kit and that you are signing up as a demonstrator. Even though it is totally okay to sign up just for the discount, you still are signing up as a demonstrator to get that 20% discount. So you're just going to click acknowledge. Yes, this is me doing this starter kit order form. And then the next thing is this agreement. Now, this is quite lengthy. If you wanted to, you could print the agreement and read through everything in here. The main gist of what Stampin' Up! are doing is to ensure that you are aware of what you need to do in order to set up the business, that Stampin' Up! don't have insurance that covers you. You would need to do that. In terms of taxes, you would need to do your own tax. And it's just a way to protect the company, but also to protect you as uh, someone that may decide to start a business. It's just giving you the information you need uh, to ensure that you are being a demonstrator that the company would depend on and that you're fulfilling your obligation. Things like making sure you place your order within a certain period of time, um, collecting payment, things like that, um, because you're dealing with other people. So you're submitting orders under my name only. Um, if I have obtained orders from customers, you have to make sure that you're putting it under their name. Just things that are going to ensure that you are doing things correctly. Submitting customers' orders in a timely manner, so 11 days or fewer. I try and let customers do their own order so that they can get it directly as soon as they can. Um, and even shipping or giving it to them, making sure it's in a timely manner. So if a demonstrator wasn't fulfilling these obligations, it's a protection um, for the customer. It's a protection for the company because they can then say, well, you, you signed this agreement and said that you're going to fulfill that and you haven't. So they can then give a warning or say, sorry, um, you haven't, haven't um, fulfilled your contract as a demonstrator. So there's a few things there to look through um, and just understand exactly what is expected of you if you do decide to run it as a business. That is the key thing that you need to realize here. Um, if down the track you decide that you're starting off as a hobby demonstrator um, and these things don't apply to you, um, and you do decide you want to start as a business, then we can totally help you with any of this information and so can Stampin' Up! when you do decide to um, sell to someone or if randomly someone decides to order through you, you can be like, help, <laughs> someone wants to order through me, what do I do? And we can definitely help you. So um, print that up or have a, have a quick read of that and then you click acknowledge, tick that and press continue. Now it opens up this next page here, choose your starter kit value. Uh, there's only one starter kit at this point in time. Sometimes they change the pricing, but it's just that one little radio button there and it's $169 for that. Now um, you can click on this details section um, and it's telling you here um, that your starter kit, basically you will receive um, the business supplier pack and then uh, you can choose up to $235 of merchandise. Plus right now you're getting the mini cutter and the designer series paper pack as well with your um, starter kit. So that's really cool. You're getting the trimmer, little mini cutter, the paper, and you get to choose a stamp set of any value. So cool. Now where it says, do you have a stamp and reward starter kit? If you don't know about this code and you've never heard of a code before, then it's definitely no. Um, 
you'll know if you have a starter kit code. And if you've never heard of it before, then it's definitely no. And <laughs> then click apply. Then you get to choose the stamp set of any value. And that's from the brand new mini catalog or even the annual catalog. If you find something in there that you would like, uh, I definitely recommend trying to find something of great value. Um, that's a good price. In the mini catalogue, I think I've worked out the highest amount is $40, uh, but you might be able to find something in the annual catalogue that's a little bit more expensive and that's better value for you. Um, I'm quickly just pulling out my annual catalogue now to see. And if you don't have one of the brand new catalogues, please let me know if you live in Australia and you would like to get your hands on the latest catalogues. Uh, we're definitely happy to help you. Um, so for instance here, I can see, uh, what have we got here? There's a few that are a little bit higher than for, uh, $40. So for instance, Enjoy Life is $44. Um, oh, let's have a look at this one here, Flourishing Phrases. Let's have a look at this one. So this might be a really good stamp set for you to pick um, because this stamp set from the annual catalog is $64 so that's a great saving um, so just go through your catalog in the index section of the annual catalog page 209 onwards it has all of the stamp sets listed there and then you can just see the prices uh, directly and you could pick one that you think you know what I really like that and I probably wouldn't buy it because of the price but now that it's free I'm gonna get it <laughs> here's another one itty bitty greeting stamp set it, it is a fantastic stamp set this one but you may not sort of gravitate towards it because it's $63 it has a lot of sentiments in it uh, but that might be a great one to get because you can never have too many sentiments in your collection so definitely look out for some of those ones that um, have the value or there might be a stamp set in the mini catalogue that you just absolutely cannot live without and you want it stat. So, and I would understand that. <laughs> we, have, we have our addictions. <laughs> so I'll just add this one in, the itty bitty, and you just click on that little radio button and then it'll move on to this next section. Now this business pack supply, it's definitely worth getting even if you don't wanna run it as a business because you get free catalogs in here. Uh, eight of the annual catalog, eight of the celebration, eight of the mini catalog, and it's just really cool to have that on hand in case a family member just happens to say to you or a friend, they're like, what, are, what is this stuff you're doing? Do you mind if I have a look at a catalog? And you can go, sure have this but if you if you're not interested just give it back to me and that's a really great way of um yeah handing out the catalogs you never know you might get a sale unexpected selling I love that type of selling <laughs> now this is build your starter kit now this is a really cool section of joining this basically means that you can choose up to 235 dollars of retail value as it says here uh, you cannot go over the 235. However, if you have a shopping list that does go over 235, what you would do is you would place this order, and then as soon as you finish signing up, you instantly have access to the demonstrator login where you can place an order as a demonstrator and get 20% discount. And you can place your next order um, that you may have through that. Um, website. I do have videos to show how to place an order as a demonstrator so that you have support and makes it easy because you can just watch my video and see how it all works. I don't want you feeling lost and overwhelmed in any way. So I'm here to help you through those steps. Now the cool thing about this is you could decide to add an entire suite uh, as one of the items that you want in your starter kit. Uh, for instance, let me use one that's close to, yes, the Parisian Blossom Suite, which is absolutely stunning. Uh, let's bring it up and I can show you a picture as well. So this key, uh, this bundle suite is $232.75. You can see it there. You're only going to pay $169 for that um, 
amazing suite. You'll get all of these incredible items that are in here. So it's dies, two stamp sets, uh, these gorgeous um, champagne embellishments. There's um, this embossing folder as well and this ribbon that I am absolutely in love with. It has the most gorgeous, gorgeous um, satin feel to it with metallic edge. It's like a champagne metallic edge on the um, the side. And I, I'm not usually a ribbon girl, but I'm addicted to that ribbon. So that could be a really awesome, look how many dies you've got here. It's such great value. And you're only going to pay $169. You're even going to get free postage on this order as well. So if you click add, it will say you only have $2.25 remaining, which I'm pretty sure you don't have anything um, left that you could possibly get. Um, but if you wanted to, you could filter. Let's just filter and see if anything comes up here. Yep. So there you go. This is a page here where it's filtering anything from zero to $10. And you can go through this list. I'm not seeing anything. Let's see price low to high. Let's go to the lowest amount. No, the lowest thing is $2.50. So at least you've checked and you can use these filters to help you to do that. You never know, we could have found something for $2.25. <laughs> but if you can't find anything, which we can't, you'll just have to leave that amount there. But we've got amazing value already. So then you click continue. And you're going to fill out this personal information section. Now, just make sure that you realize that anything that doesn't have an asterisk, you don't have to fill out. Okay, so if you don't feel comfortable adding in your birth date, it's okay because there's no asterisk next to that. Also in this section here, additional information, there is no asterisk at all. So you don't have to put in your license number. You don't have to add your ABN. In fact, that's not required at all. So don't get scared about this section because it isn't a required field. Now, if I put in my details here, I'll just walk you through this. And we're going to put my email. Now, this little section here is a little bit tricky. You don't need anything for daytime phone. But if you do decide to put in a phone number, you have to make sure you follow this little format above. So it'd be something like this. I'm just making up a phone number here. That's how you would write a daytime phone with whatever area code and everything with those little spaces in between. A mobile phone would be written like this, where it has the four, then a space, three numbers, space, three numbers, and you can see it written there. And it will tick it. If it's happy with what you've done, it will tick it. If we did it all in one, what would happen here? No, brr. <laughs> so if you see that, it means you need to put those spaces in. Ah, happy, all good. So that's just so that you're aware of that. Now you can click here that, yes, please send me texts. But if you want text, then you have to make sure that you put in your mobile phone in this section here. Okay. Now that is the only thing you just make sure you put your shipping address. Um, if possible, just making sure that you don't capitalize any of this information it just makes it easier for me when I'm sending you information as a team member um, yeah it just looks nicer rather than being in capitals um, being really careful that your shipping address is correct because we want it to go to the right house and the right place and also your email address making sure that this is correct now some have been finding that it says something like your email address is already um, in use or um, yeah, it's not valid. If you get that response, the best options that we've come up with is most people have another email that they use. So pop that in instead, and then you can call Stampin' Up and put your the main email that you want afterwards. The other thing that you could do is um, contact Stampin' Up straight away if it's within uh, business hours, Monday to Friday, I think it's nine o'clock till 5.30 and they'll definitely be able to walk you through that. Don't get too frustrated with this sign up if it's being a bit glitchy. Um, someone else did have an issue where um, 
they ended up not being able to put in their credit card and then when they went back again then it was saying your email's not accepted and that can be really frustrating when you're trying to sign up so if you have any sort of computer glitches or IT glitches please don't spend too much time either contact me or contact Stampin' Up because we're here to help you have the best experience you possibly can with signing up we don't want you going through any frustration at all so please just let us know now I'll put in a, um, a dummy little uh, address here. This is not my actual address, so don't try and send me a, a random act of kindness because <laughs> it doesn't exist. Um, okay, so that's all there, happy to go. Now, for some reason it's accepted my email address all fine, but if it does have a little you know hissy fit there, please feel free to contact me either phone, email. Oh, there we go. This is what happened. So the email address you've entered already exists in our system. Um, if it's correct, contact demonstrator support on this number. So you can just call them and they will definitely help. If it's out of office hours, then definitely contact me. And then the other option is, do you have another email address that you can use for the interim until you're able to get in touch with demonstrator support? Um, because most of us, I know I have three email addresses that I use. Don't use someone else's address, that's not good. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, do you personally have um, another email address that you can use um, because yeah I know I have yeah I think I have three or four different email addresses so most of us do so that's another option so um, the next page is literally just adding your payment in um, it only accepts credit cards if you don't have a credit card then please contact Stampin' Up uh, and they may be able to work out something for you in terms of direct deposit or um, I know that some people have been able to go to the post office and they do have like a credit card feature. I forget what it's called now, but you can uh, get that topped up. If you don't feel secure using a credit card, you can use this credit card that comes from the post office where you put just the amount that you're going to use plus the fee. Um, and that just helps people feel uh, more secure because I know there are people out there that uh, are scared to use their credit card online which, you know, is understandable. But the banks do, surprisingly, they do help you if your, if your credit card does get hacked. That's what they're there for. <laughs> so that is how easy it is to get started and to have this amazing kit. You can go up here, as you can see, and go back to different sections. But as you can see, the fact that you get this mini cutter, a stamp set of any value of your choice, the paper, that is all free free oh my goodness that is amazing this paper and the mini cutter I think I had to pay $46 to get that uh, so this is amazing value plus on top of it you're getting a stamp set that hopefully is like a $60 stamp set so that's over a hundred dollars free here potentially plus you're getting $66 for free in your starter kit that you're choosing you're only paying $169 Plus, you're also getting the free postage, which on the Parisian Bloom here in Australia, you would probably pay around $11 for that. So $11 saving on postage, $66 saving on the starter kit, and potentially $100 here in this freebie. Amazing. What's that? $180 basically you're looking at least $150 to $180 in free product. So it's a great, great option. If you live in Australia, we would love to help you. We have a lot of support with our team, whether it's joining for a hobby or if you're joining as a business, we have incredible training programs that we offer uh, our team for free. Other demonstrators pay for that training so hundreds around the world are paying for that training because it's so valuable uh, so we would love to help you with any business um, 
goals that you have in terms of earning trips or um, making this something that you can earn some income from home really flexible. Bruno and I have worked this business together now, so we could definitely give you a lot of support and training in terms of what you need to do to make this a business. So thank you so much for being here today. Any questions, any um, concerns, anything that you need to know, please let me know. Uh, We're happy to help you in any way possible and happy joining. We hope to see you on our Crazy Crafters team very soon. Bye everyone. See you soon.